I've been both in Kyoto and in Paris following the negotiations and I always feel very sad to think about those environments that are threatened by the climate change. And one area in specific are the coral reefs, where the latest IPCC report says that at 1.5 degree, 70% of the coral reefs will disappear. But if we can't stop the temperature uh, from rising to 2 degrees, 99% of all the coral reefs in the world will be destroyed. If you look at the energy consumption of mankind, it's only 20% that is electricity, 30% is transport, and 50% is heat. And this is something that not many people know about. They think that our daily goods are produced by electricity. But to produce one kilo of cloth, you need heat. So you burn approximately two kilos of coal for every kilo of cloth that you produce, for a pair of jeans, for example. Or to make tea, to dry the tea leaves, you need to burn five tons of firewood to dry one ton of tea leaves. I started doing some research on technology solutions and was surprised to see that there were a lot of good uh, environment technologies that had not been developed. And one of those technologies was concentrated solar energy. And we could see from the research that concentrated solar energy is a part of solution of the humanity's energy need. But the development was far from what was needed. So, to handle the reduction of the CO2, we needed to invent new technology that could replace fossil fuel in a cost-efficient way. So 20 years ago, we started a research project to make the best solar concentrator in the world. And now we have succeeded. The collector is a parabolic trough with a silver reflector that focuses all the light on a magic pipe that absorbs the light but does not emit any heat. And then it's covered with the anti-reflex coated glass that protects the collector and keep it clean. And this collector is then following the sun during the day to uh, catch all the light that is coming and convert it into heat and steam up to 160 degrees. When we had succeeded in making this parabolic trough that focused the light, we have packages the offer into a robotized production line. What we sell is not the solar collector, but the complete production unit and all the knowledge needed to build solar fields in a specific country. Absolicon was in the beginning a research company developing methods to make the best parabolic trough in the world. And we were able to do this in a, in a manual work. But to change the energy supply of the world, we need to have an ABB robot line that can mass produce the collectors in the manual production, we could do two or three collectors per day. But with the robot line now from ABB, we make one collector every six minutes. The big multinationals had made big commitments on the reduction of CO2. And they are now switching their heat supply from fossil fuel to renewable energy. And we are super busy responding to all those requests of building solar thermal in the different factories around the world. And the only way to fulfill this enormous demand is with local robotized production lines that can mass produce the collectors on the local market. Because the need is hundreds and hundreds of thousands of square meters of collectors to replace the oil and gas that is used today in industry. We have this strange situation today that the CO2 that we are emitting into air, our grandchildren need to take from the air and put back into the ground again, if we're going to be able to meet the 1.5 degree goal. So we need really, for our grandchildren's sake, to stop releasing CO2 in the atmosphere and turn to renewable energy for this production. Otherwise, the coral reefs will not survive. We are really looking forward to work together with ABB now to roll out this technology in the world so that every country gets their own ABB robotics production line and will be able to produce the solar collectors that they need.